Imagine telling your computer, build me an app. And instead of giving you half broken code snippets, it writes the app, tests it inside a browser, clicks every button, checks every API, fixes its own bugs, and keeps running for hours while you do literally nothing. That's not science fiction anymore. Well, welcome to Replete. Agent 3, and on the exact same day, Replete announced a $250 million raise at a $3 billion valuation. This isn't just a funding story. This could redefine who gets to be a software developer. Let's break it down. Agent 3 is 10 times more autonomous than its previous versions. Agent 1 ran for 2 minutes. Agent 2 Manage 20 minutes. Now, Agent 3 can run for 200 plus minutes straight. It doesn't just generate code, it validates it using a proprietary testing system that Replete says is three times faster and 10 times cheaper than anything else on the market. Agent 3 runs your app like a QA engineer, clicking links, filling forms, hammering APIs and fixing issues as they come up. And for the first time ever, it can build other agents, Slackbots, Notion automations, Dropbox integrations, workflows that run on triggers or schedules. This drops just as Replete secured its $250 million Series C, led by Prism Capital with Google's AI Futures Fund, Amex Ventures, and legends like Paul Graham and A16Z all backing in. That's not casual money. That's conviction that AI-first software development is here to stay. But here's why this story is different. Replete's mission isn't about replacing developers. It's about expanding who gets to build software. Amjad Masad. The founder grew up in Jordan, coding from internet cafes, reloading his dev environment every session because he couldn't afford his own computer. That pain became his life's work, turning coding into something anyone, anywhere can do. Today, Replete has 40 million users. The revenue? exploded from $2.8 million to $150 million in just one year. Customers include Zillow, Duolingo, Coinbase, and startups across YC's portfolio. And Amjad's bold claim is this. I no longer think you should learn to code. He believes the future belongs to creators, students, designers, office workers, People who don't care about syntax, but want to turn ideas into software. Well, with Agent 3, Replete goes head-to-head -head with Cursor, Lovable, and Cognition. Here's the proof. Reid Hoffman, LinkedIn's co-founder, asked Replete to clone LinkedIn in a single prompt. Well, this is what it did. It produced a working prototype at the National University of Singapore. Students with zero backend experience use Replete to build a campus app for 700 plus users. YC startups like Berry AI and unicorns like Deal are already running production code on it. And with Agent 3, Replete is going head to head with Cursor, Lovable, and Cognition. Cursor just raised $900 million. Cognition is valued at $10 billion. But neither is offering a fully autonomous agent that can test, fix, and deploy like this. Plus, Replete is now listed on the Google Cloud Marketplace, meaning enterprises can adopt it instantly inside their existing cloud stack. That's a massive distribution play that turns hype 
into adoption. So what's really at stake? Is that the question? Well, this probably. This isn't just about efficiency for coders. It's about who gets to participate in the digital economy. If AI can handle 90% of coding, as Anthropic's Dario Amode predicts, then the next billion app creators won't come from computer science classrooms. They'll come from kids in India, entrepreneurs in Africa, or designers in New York who can now describe an idea and see it built. That's why this $250 million raise matters. It isn't just funding, it's fuel for Replete's mission to make software creation universal. But here's the question. If apps can now build themselves, what happens to the identity of being a programmer? Is it obsolete? Or is it evolving into something even bigger? Please do let us know what you think in the comments below.